Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, I want to start your week off with this devotional thought. Uh, it's a passage from Luke chapter 9, verses 18 through 20. <clears throat> and we read this. Now it happened that he was praying alone. The disciples were with him. And he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist. But others say Elijah, and others that one of the prophets of old is risen. Then he said to him, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. <clears throat> You know, it's amazing in that passage. I mean, we, we see a glimpse of how Jesus was viewed at that time. That he was a good person, a powerful person, an important person. Somebody who should be listened to and respected because he obviously had authority. He obviously had power and he taught in a way that was unique. But most people were missing who he was. Peter gets a glimpse here. Peter, Peter understands Jesus is more than just a man or a prophet. He understands that he's from God, that he is the Messiah. But the reason I share this today is because a lot of times we, we have the same kind of view of Jesus as people 2,000 years ago did. We have a lot of people in the world who look, at, who look at Jesus, if they believe in him, as somebody who was a good teacher, a good person, a, a model for us to live by. But they don't understand that he is actually God. But that is who he is. And I want to encourage you today to remember that. You're not just following a good teacher. Yes, Jesus is a good teacher. You're not just following uh, somebody who has uh, uh, a reputation and can bring healing, even though he definitely does that. But you're specifically following God's very own son. And in that, there's hope and in that there's life. So who do you say that Jesus is? I pray you'll be able to say with me, you're the Christ, the son of God. God bless you.